Welcome to Fluids 101 with Jesse and Jeremy. Today we are discussing uh, where does air, where does lift come from? How do planes fly? And we're not settling for a simple rudimentary because the air flows faster on top than it does on the bottom approach. We're getting down to the actual physics of what's going on. Um, so Jesse, come on over. Here we have a simple visualization using water and cilantro leaves. And uh, we are going to use this ID card of freshman year of college, Jeremy, as our airplane wing. It's our flat plate that we're approximating as an airfoil over here. So we start without moving and we have zero circulation. There's no circulation going on right now. And what does Kelvin's theorem say about it? It says that big D gamma DT equals zero, meaning the material derivative, the circulation following the system, the arbitrary contour that you draw must be, must be zero. So if and you start with zero circulation, zero. there should always has to be a net zero circulation. Exactly. So watch the region at the be where the card starts, and I'm going to impulsively move it across. Right here. Uh, splash back. But you can still see it. Just watch here. You'll see, you'll see a vortex start to roll up. See that? It's not as clear as it was in the book. <laughs> <laughs> the, the beginning. And then you have this circulation the other way. So you, you sh basically we, we shed a vortex here called the startup vortex. See that? And then we leave it at the beginning of the runway as we continue to fly and take off. Mm -hmm. And if our, bo if our contour extends, you know, it's growing in time. So it starts here and it's extending to maintain the airfoil in it all the way. Uh, you know, if this vortex has a circulation this way, we need a maintenance. The entire system must be net zero. So if you draw a contour around, you know, there's 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 a vortex here, and then you've got the the airfoil at infinity far farther away. There's no vorticity in between because all the fluid is stagnant at some point. So that means that the circulation around the airfoil has to have a net circulation in the other direction. And so, what's, so that circulation is accelerating the fluid above the airfoil mm -hmm. and slowing down the fluid below the airfoil and Bernoulli tells us that we have higher pressure on the bottom, lower on top mm -hmm. and we have a net force up and the plane flies. Yeah, and that is why... That, boys and girls, <laughs> is why airplanes fly. Thanks, Jeremy. It's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. <laughs>